audio is a huge part of building a connection with your audience. Getting good audio, if you're a content creator, is really important. And it's all about matching the right mic to your environment. So we're going to look at desk mics. We're going to look at lav mics, shotgun mics, even mics for recording directly to your phone. Knowing what type of mic is going to best suit your environment and your budget is going to go a long way to making your content stand out. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what mic you should be looking at, which mic is going to perform best in your situation. Anyway, let's get to it. Now, one of the most commonly used mics for beginners is a USB mic, like this Yeti. And USB means you don't need any fancy mixing desks or audio interfaces. You just plug it into your computer and it comes with a stand so you can mount it on your desk. Not that you should ever. Desk mics like this should always be mounted on an arm and connected with a shock mount to stop the vibration from your desk, making thumping sounds on your audio. And you should invest a couple of bucks and get yourself a pop filter to stop plosives. That's the air out of your mouth hitting the mic. It makes this horrible popping sound. It's these little extras that make a big difference. Anyway, back to the mic. I do like the Yeti and it's got different modes on the back. Bi-directional, so you could do an interview. It's got an omnidirectional setting. Stick it in the middle of a table and then record everybody. But the setting that you're likely going to be interested in is cardioid. That's what you use to record your own voice. So let's see what the Yeti sounds like. A recent survey proved that customers will forgive video that's not perfect. But poor audio will greatly reduce your audience retention. That's the Yeti. But while the Yeti sounds okay in my setting, it may be a totally different story for you. And here's why. The Yeti. You see, it's a condenser mic. And what that means in, in simple terms, it means it's sensitive. Really sensitive. If you've got, say, a computer with a, with a fan or you've got, say, your air conditioning running or anything else in the background that's going to make a noise, it's going to sound a whole lot worse on your audio. It sounds fine in here, but I'm in a sound-treated room with no external sounds. If I use the Yeti in, a, say, a normal room, I'd have to pay really close attention to ambient noise. Or if you're in a room with lots of hard surfaces, you'll get that empty room sound. And that's where I might like the short MV7 may be a better option. Like the Yeti, this mic is a USB mic. In fact, it's got both USB and XLR. And like the Yeti, you can mount it on a stand. But the MV7 is a dynamic mic, whereas the Yeti is a condenser mic. And basically, what this means is the MV7, it's, well, it's nowhere near as sensitive to ambient noise. So if you're in a normal room with any kind of ambient noise, you know, fans, traffic noise, stuff like that, the MV7 would be a better choice. So what does the MV7 sound like? Well, let's find out. A recent survey proved that customers will forgive video that's not perfect, but poor audio will greatly reduce your audience retention. You know, I really like the sound of this mic, and I think for the money, it's pretty good. In fact, I think sure, I've kind of, they've shot themselves in the foot a little bit with this mic, in my opinion. You see, this mic, it sounds almost identical to its bigger and far more expensive brother, the SM7B, which is like a $400 mic. You see a lot of professional YouTubers and podcasters using the SM7B. And frankly, the MV7 sounds remarkably similar. And if you're just starting out and you don't want to be messing about with audio interfaces and mixing desks and all that, but you still want to get great audio, the MV7 is worth looking at. And it comes with an app. Now, you don't have to use the app, but it, it's easy to use. It's not technical. And you can adjust various settings in here to improve your audio. You can adjust the mic volume if you want it in here. There's all kinds of little improvements, tweaks if you like, that you can do in here. And like I said, you don't have to use the app if you, if you don't want to. You can control basic functions like volume control and mute from the actual mic itself. So if you've got a room that's got a little bit of noise and you want to have just that little bit more control over how your voice sounds, I'd spend a little extra and I'd go for the MV7. Otherwise, save yourself 50 bucks and go for the Yeti. The advantage of desk mics like these is they also double up nicely for doing podcasts because the quality of the audio is pretty good. The downside, if you're on camera, 
you've got to place this mic so it's so it's close enough so you get that that rich sound and the sweet spot's normally about a hand's width from your mouth so you've got to place it as close as you can without it getting in your way and if you move slightly off axis the audio well it changes so desk mics aren't that much good if you're moving about and that brings us to the next option wireless lav mics if you may be teaching cooking or i don't know maybe you're teaching dance or, or woodwork if you're moving around you're gonna need a mic that's gonna move around with you now buying cheap wireless lav mics it's a it's a bit of a hit and miss affair i've got a box full of 20 to 50 dollar wireless mics that ended up being a total waste of money so when it comes to lav mics it's worth spending that little bit more to get something that's going to do the job so if you're moving about while you're recording the wireless lav from rode is worth looking at the rode wireless gold 2 it's a great starting point comes with two transmitters so two people can talk at the same time there's a built-in mic right in the top here you just clip it to your shirt attach the receiver to the camera plug it in and away you go but you don't have to use the built-in mic if you don't want to you can also attach a separate mic and then just stick the transmitter in your pocket so let's hear what the wireless go sounds like a recent survey proved that customers will forgive video that's not perfect but poor audio will greatly reduce your audience retention what do you think let me know in the comments and if you're recording with say your phone lav mics they're a great option but there's a little bit of a gotcha here the type of cable required to connect a lav mic to your phone is different the cable that goes from your mic to your phone needs to have three rings on the pin not two phones they require a different plug and i'll put a link to an adapter below or of course you could buy a dedicated lav mic for your phone like the rode smart lav you're not really going to get the same audio quality from a a little mic like this as you are going to as you're going to get from a desk mounted mic that's the trade-off and some in fact a lot of lav mics are what's called omnidirectional which means they pick up sound from all around so you're going to get a little bit of background noise and that's why I won't use a lav mic if I don't have to like when I'm presenting if you say sat or stood in one place like this you either want a desk mic like the Yeti or the MV7 or and this is another option you could use a shotgun mic in fact I'm currently talking to you now on a shotgun mic it's positioned just up here out of shot shotgun mics like this Rode video mic are designed to pick up a very narrow pattern directly in front of the mic they're designed to reject or at least to a degree they reject audio other than what is directly in front of them this mic the shotgun mic from Rode is actually designed to fit directly onto the camera but the thing is like with all mics getting that mic closer to you is going to make a massive difference to the quality so rather than have it mounted on top of the camera where it's like where it's like four feet away and in fact to show you what i mean this is what it sounds like when it's mounted directly on the camera not great so i've used a little audio extension cable and i've mounted it on this arm i've moved it closer to me and it's now just out of shot just slightly in front up here just above my head getting that mic closer to you it makes a big difference if you're going on camera a lot and you're not moving about much and you don't want a, a desk mic like the yeti in your way then i'd go for a shotgun mic that's what it's designed for it's designed to work a little bit further away from your mouth than a desk or a lav mic well there we are i hope this video has given you an insight into what kind of mic is going to best suit your situation just bear these points in mind when you're making your choice so until next time bye for now